What's up everybody? Marcus here with Black Ovis. Today we are in-house with Corey Beckendorf, the National Sales Manager for Crispy Boots. We love Crispy Boots here and we wanted to dive in a little deeper to figure out what exactly makes a Crispy Boot a Crispy Boot. Thanks for being here, man. Thanks, Marcus. Um, we get that question a lot with our brand being so new to the North American market here. Um, Crispy Italy's been building boots since 1975 over in Italy. It's actually a third generation family owned company. They take a ton of pride in what they do. Um, and fortunately for us, we've got a unique relationship in the boot world um, that allows us to deliver the quality of their build um, and designs and innovations um, and fine tune that to the North American market, which has been awesome for us. One of the cores of every good mountain boot is going to be its waterproof lining. We start with the best. We put a full Gore-Tex booty in every single one of our boots. It's going to have a booty that goes all the way around your foot. And so you can see in this cutaway, the lining is actually underfoot as well. We don't just stop at the sole or the rand. When, when Gore-Tex is in a boot, it's going to twist and flex and get torqued for the entire life of that boot. And as you can imagine, um, that's pretty hard on it. And so when people talk about Gore-Tex failing, a lot of times if you don't put that lining in properly, um, it's going to fail much sooner. So we build that from the last up and we put it all the way around your foot so that Gore-Tex lining will be good and waterproof for as long as possible. The other piece from Gore-Tex that we use is going to be its insulation. And so any boot that has uh, insulation in it is going to have a product called Gore-Tex Duratherm or a variant of it. That product is a hollow fiber insulation. It can't absorb water. It's still going to insulate when it's compressed. And so as you can imagine, anytime that boot is on your foot, it is compressed. So yeah. we, uh, we're really, really happy with that insulation. Gore-Tex actually adheres that to that booty at their factory. Um, they've got a process that allows that membrane to stay very breathable. Um, while still insulating well. So another key component of every good boot, it's going to be its outsole. On all of our crispy products, we run a brand called Vibram. We feel like they put out the best outsole on the market. They also have several different options for tread patterns and compounds, and that allows us to really fine tune the outsole we need for specific applications in our boot. So. When we look at just a standard outsole, most of the product we're going to use is called Mega Grip, and that's actually the compound. We feel like that is the best balance of grip and durability because as you add one, you're going to take away another. So mm -hmm. we have a very durable outsole, but it's still going to do great on rocks, wet ground, gravel, all those types of things, shed snow really well. And so we're very, very happy with that Vibram outsole. Um, it's an expensive piece to add into a boot, um, but we feel like it's, it's necessary to really get the top performing yeah. mountain boot on the market. And if by chance people do wear out the tread on these, it's possible to get these resold on your boots, correct? Yep. So we've got a cobbler um, down in Richfield, Utah. He can take care of all that. We supply him with all the factory soles. So if you do, if you're putting a ton of miles on a pair of boots, um, or if you're on concrete and hard ground a lot that it does wear out that sole, um, we can resole any of our products. So awesome. it's a great option. Um, they're not cheap boots, but... I, I've never personally gone through a sole on a crispy boot, so I don't think that's going to happen to very many people. Yeah, you're light enough. Big guys go through them, it seems like. <laughs> yeah, that's true. On that sandstone. So great, great piece. Vibram puts out a very, very high quality product. Awesome. So I know that you guys run on a flex rating from one to five. Tell me more about that. Absolutely. So we've got a sliding scale of flexibility on our boots, like you just said, one mm -hmm. to five. Five being the stiffest, one being the softest. It's important to add the rigidity and support into a boot, and it's important depending on how you're using it to choose the proper flex rating. The way we add that stiffness or take away stiffness from a boot is called a board last. And so it's right here on the bottom underneath the Gore-Tex but above your midsole and outsole. And what we do is we're actually going to integrate a piece like this into the boot. This is your board last. And we use a board last which is a difficult way to stiffen a boot. Mm -hmm. um, 
but we feel that it gives you the best performance for a couple reasons. A, we're gonna support your entire foot. And then the other reason being, I'll let you hold that, is I can add um, more or less flexibility to a board last in specific locations. Okay. So when we look at how your foot flexes with or without a boot on, it naturally wants to flex at the ball of your foot. So when I push this, you can see we've added a little bit of softness right there mm -hmm. so that your foot can flex how it naturally wants to. Now, I still have a ton of left or right support because yep. your foot doesn't want to flex that way. Accomplishes a few goals um, for us when we integrate that. It pulls a lot of torque out of your heel cup and also a really stiff boot like this five flex board last, mm -hmm. typically pretty uncomfortable to wear on flat ground. So if I've got this guy, it's stiff enough for me on a three flex to pack elk out of the high country. Yep. But I can also go back to Iowa and walk super flat ground for pheasants, and I'm very comfortable in both scenarios. So it adds a lot gotcha. of versatility to the boot um, when we can create all that support underneath, still get good side bite into the hill, and add that flexibility to make it more comfortable when you aren't going straight up and straight down. So if I understand correctly, you keep this board last on top of the sole as close to the foot as possible to keep a natural flexibility right on your foot. Absolutely, yeah. We want, to, we want it to be right under foot as well as be able to flex where we need it to and give you really good support. It's awesome. a very difficult thing to accomplish in the boot manufacturing process, um, but it's something that's really set us apart. And we can also fine tune that for different hunting applications, different needs for each mm -hmm. hunter. So we, we're very, very happy with that board last. The relationship with Italy really allows us to make some unique changes to the market. Um, for North America versus what they're wearing over in Italy or Europe or Norway. And one of those pieces that we knew was important was fit. North Americans have a little wider, higher volume feet than Europeans. Mm -hmm. And if we were to bring these in all on European last, they wouldn't fit as many people. And when we can go through all the nuts and bolts of a boot, but if it doesn't fit, it's <laughs> not going to work for you. Yeah. So it allows us to bring in boots that are going to fit more hunters in North America as well as fine tune that fit for each model and its design purpose. So like your, your favorite boot, the Brickstall, yep. it's gonna be more of a mountaineering fit. It's a little lower volume, really grips that heel very well. It's gonna fit like a glove where this guide boot, which is my personal favorite, it's got a little wider toe box. It's gonna accommodate some people. It gives you some room for a little bit thicker sock. And mm. so we can fine tune that for each individual boot and bring in a boot that overall is gonna fit more hunters. Here at Black Ovis, we carry all the different crispy hunting boot models. Our gear guides get asked all the time, which hunting boot is right for me? With so many different boot models, how would you answer that question? It's a very difficult one to answer and you have to have more information. We have over 30 models in our lineup and the reason we need that many is North America isn't pigeonholed into a specific type of hunting. Guys all over the country have different hunting styles and needs. And so that lineup is curtailed to this market so that we can take care of the needs of as many hunters as possible. So mm -hmm. that's why we like having strong partners like Black Ovis so you can give those gear guides a call and give them your hunting scenarios and what you need out of the boot. And they should be able to line you up with two or three good options for your application. Absolutely. Our gear guides know the crispy boots well, they use them. So give them a call and ask them your questions. But I think we've, we've come to an answer, what makes a crispy boot a crispy boot? So thank you for coming in, Corey, and helping us answer that question. Awesome, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.